The finry effect fingers are a type of soft fingers proposed almost 10 years ago, but only recently released as a commercial product. They are inspired by the anatomy of fishes and constituted by compliant front and back beams connected by a series of cross beams. These fingers are entirely passive and can be attached to any industrial grippers, thereby providing a very simple and affordable solution to obtain soft grasping capabilities. Their particular design allows them to curl around the object to be seized and adapt to a wide variety of shapes. However, if one looks at the typical specifications for these fingers, it can be seen that the obtained mechanical advantage, that is the ratio of the squeezing force produced to the gripper input force, is quite low, typically around one-tenth. In many practical applications, such as robotic pick and place, as illustrated here, and depending on the object shape and weight, the fingers cannot apply enough forces to maintain a steady grasp, as for example with this rock. If slippage occurs, the position of the object changes, which leads in this case to the rock scratching on the table. At high speed, the object might even fall. Only knowing the weight of the object is not sufficient as the forces applied by the fingers depend on their deformation, which itself depends on the shape of the object seized. Thus, it is necessary to be able to predict these forces for an arbitrary deformation of the fingers. To this aim, we propose a pseudo-rigid body model, illustrated here and inspired by those commonly found in the literature dealing with compliant mechanism design. In this model, all the stages of the finger are modeled by six bar linkages, except the two most distal ones. Overall, the linkage has n degrees of freedom. The finger is discretized into rigid elements connected by revolute joints, and each of the latter has an associated rotational stiffness. The geometry of the equivalent linkage can be readily found by inspection and the typical simulated deformations are consistent with the experimental results. However, obtaining accurate stiffnesses for this lumped model and thus being able to predict the grasp forces proved to be more challenging. To solve this issue, we turned to finite element analysis and simulated the grasps of dozens of objects during which the forces were recorded all these forces became the input of an optimization process where the lumped stiffnesses were the unknowns. We also verified these forces experimentally using several grasp artifacts with a 6-axis force sensor embedded inside them. Using this method, we were able to find the stiffness parameters, allowing us to match the simulation and experimental results to an excellent degree. With this model, we were able to show that the stiffnesses of the different parts of the fingers contribute quite differently to the generated grasp forces, and for instance, those of the crossbeam hinges play a major role in the grasp stability. In the last series of experiments, illustrated here, we recorded the grasp forces obtained with the fingers where we increased the stiffness of these hinges by locally applying a rubber compound. The forces were significantly increased without a noticeable decrease of the shape adaption.